Welcome to my channel where we cover the lore of video games. We cover all kinds from the mainstream to the indie, so I hope you enjoy your stay, and welcome to the Chronicler of Lore. Dravania is one of those places that the Warrior of Light visits pretty often, and on one of his trips, he runs into a treasure hunter who just finished running for her life. She was exploring a place with some friends when they got chased by some seedkin and nearly died. Even though the place she was in was pretty unsafe, she still wants the treasure, and since you look kind of tough, she asks you to clear a path for her crew. They'll pay you, which is pretty much all you need to hear to take any job. So the Warrior of Light heads to meet the woman's friend named Sonny outside of St. Marcian's Arboretum, while she goes back to Idleshire to get a few more people to join in the exploration once the Warrior of Light does his thing. Sonny's not all that hard to spot since he has a giant blonde afro, and when he finds out you're there to deal with the living plants that are running around in the Arboretum, he's happy because his people had no shot of clearing the place out. In the time before the Charlians abandoned the area, they used the place to study plant life from all around the world. They also used to keep the stuff well contained. With no one there to monitor the stuff, the plants have pretty much taken over everything and quite a few of them are man-eaters. Under most circumstances, Sawney's people would have just left the place alone. But they found some paperwork that showed that there's something in the Arboretum that they could really use to help the people of Idleshire. He doesn't care about most of the other relics lying around in the place, so they're yours if you want them. That's not a bad deal, so the Warrior of Light heads into the Arboretum to do a little bit of not-so-harmless lawn mowing. Saying the place is overgrown is not even just an understatement, it's an outright lie. The original structure is pretty much gone, replaced by ponds with lily pads the size of elephants and a beehive the size of a hotel. It's cartoonishly big, and the only type of plant life that's in the place wants to eat you. But the Warrior of Light's not really new to any of this, so he cuts his way through it all, clearing a path for the treasure hunters. Since you cleared the way, Sawney's people find what they're looking for, and he's eager to get back to tell the worst name Rogan in the game, Midnight Do, what he found. Sonny figures that she'd want to thank you for your help, so you go with him to talk to the woman. The woman's happy that it worked out, because what they were trying to get were special seeds made by the Charlians that will help the people of Idleshire get new things to trade. Right now, the small settlement makes its money by collecting junk from the ruins around the area, then selling it for a little bit of profit. But eventually, they'll run out of stuff, so if the community wants to keep growing and prospering, then they need new ways to get resources. Those seeds were phase one of that plan and crops that can grow in any climate are definitely a valuable resource. It won't happen overnight, but since you helped out, Midnight Dew plans on keeping you posted on how it turns out. But since the Warrior of Light constantly goes to Idleshire anyway, he'll likely see the changes happen firsthand. Ironically enough, the next time he sees Sawney isn't in Idleshire at all. The man catches up to him at Raga's Reach because they've run into some more trouble in the Arboretum, and he's hoping that you have a bit of time to swing by and help out. When you get there, Midnight Dew shows up to explain the situation, and she has a very hyperactive, weird-looking seedkin with her. The thing had come hopping out of the Arboretum with way more energy than it should have had, and they think it has something to do with the mud that it's covered in. They figure that if the mud could energize that one seedkin like that, it could work wonders on the new gardens that they planted. They would have gone and got it themselves, but the same mud that made the relatively harmless plant creature supercharge works the same way on the stuff with teeth, meaning if they would have sent their plant expert in there alone, she would have been used for fertilizer. So the only way for them to actually go in and get what they need is if you're willing to do your whole stabby stabby thing again. The Warrior of Light goes in to handle things and realizes really fast that the mud-coated critters got stronger by a whole 10 levels, which also made them bigger and more creative in their attempts to consume you. One of these mud-coated monsters was clogging up the plumbing, which kept the water from flowing. So once it's dealt with, the water can flow again, which will help with the cleanliness problem in the place. Midnight Dew and the botanist Edgith had followed your trail, and while you cleared a path, they found the papers explaining that the weird mud was actually a mixture used to rapidly grow the materials the Charlians needed to make their formula to turn plants into fertilizer instantly. A side effect was that the mud made actual seedkin aggressive. The good news is all it takes to cure them of that aggression is a little bit of water. In other words, the entire mission could have been handled with a hose pipe and a bucket. But time wasting aside, the Warrior of Light did help them get what they needed to speed up the process of growing their plants, which means good thing for the people of the area, 
Unless, of course, Square Enix forgets about growing Ottoshire and it stays the same way from now until forever. Either way, that's the end of this story. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, ding that notification bell, donate if you can, and I'll see you guys in the next one.